so excited for today's video. First of all, happy October. I really cannot believe it's October already. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> and if you guys know me, you know I love Christmas. Um, and so I felt like in the spirit of fall and me trying to do more um, handbag related videos every month, I'm going to be bringing you guys luxury I would not repurchase. So these are going to be about seven or eight items that I have purchased and I either have or have sold that I would not purchase again. Um, and I think these videos are important because a lot of times I bring to you guys either handbag reviews after having them for a month or so or a shoe reveal or a handbag reveal. And sometimes if I don't love it, I don't ever get to really tell you guys why I don't love it. So I like watching these videos just to really get people's real opinion about things months and years down the line and um yeah so if you want to see the luxury items that i have purchased that i will not repurchase please keep watching okay so let's start with smallest to largest so we're going to start with an item that i don't have anymore and this is the louis vuitton limited edition kabuki stickers zippy coin purse and i will insert a picture here i think i did an unboxing of this wallet on my channel if i did i will link it down below and a few months ago i think i brought you guys a video detailing why I was getting rid of it or why I did get rid of it and basically I will never buy another Louis Vuitton special edition wallet that has a print that wraps completely around the wallet now I do have and it's actually sitting right over there I have well I'll get it and show you so I have this Louis Vuitton Mon monogram wallet with my initials on it that I got for Christmas last year that I have started using again now this is a different piece because the design it goes all the way around but it's centered in the middle so it's not like an out it's not an all over design and I do see a little area back here where the pink is rubbing off to white I don't know if you can see it uh, but with something like this that is going to be in a larger purse because it's obviously a larger wallet I don't really mind but on that smaller wallet I had a lot of rubbing of the print so I feel like even if I were to get it repaired it's like a special piece and because of that I was just like I don't want to have to go through having to get it repaired once a year and it's such a small piece and I like to use my compact wallets a lot in the summertime because I'm using smaller bags. So I decided to get rid of it because I just felt like it wouldn't be a good investment. Uh, it was really starting to rub off and I hadn't even really worn that wallet or used it but maybe three to five times and it's not like I was mistreating it but i just will never buy another louis vuitton wallet that has a print all around it that was just like way too much i love that wallet it was very sentimental to me and i love having limited edition smaller the goods but i don't think i'll be going down that road again even though i love that piece i just i don't think i'll do it okay the next item is also another item that I no longer have, and it's the Valentino Rock Stud Slingback Pumps, which I'll insert a picture here. I did an unboxing or reveal on my channel. I'll also link that down below. Now, here's the thing. I love these shoes. I love them so much. I love the color. I love that they're patent leather. I tend to get a lot of my designer shoes in patent leather finish just because I feel it wears a little better and it looks nicer than a flat leather. Uh, but that shoe was not very well constructed. I remember I took those heels to Naples, Florida, and I went out to eat. And I think we were out for, what, maybe three hours. And by the time I got back to my hotel, the backs of the heels were, like, dented where the patent was, like, on the back side of the heel. Um, the strings were coming. I had, like, little strings fraying from the caged portion of the shoe where you actually have the rock studs. And I'm just thinking to myself, this shoe is a thousand dollars okay I love a good designer shoe but there's a difference between like a five hundred dollar shoe and a thousand dollar shoe and I feel like if I'm paying a thousand dollars for a shoe it should not be deteriorating the first time I wear it so I think I wore them a couple more times but all in all I decided to sell those shoes just because 
I'd rather sell them and get more money than wait till I run them down and then I can't get anything from it and then I'm just left with them and I'm screwed. So I definitely would not repurchase those but I would get the rock stud flats that don't have any of the cage detailing because I feel like what really can go wrong then. Um, but even then, those shoes are very expensive, but they're so beautiful. I love a point tote flat. So I would get a variation of that shoe, but I would definitely never get that shoe again and probably never pay that much for just a simple pump. $1,000 is like boot money. <laughs> okay. So my next piece is a backpack and I know you guys probably haven't seen this bag in years. This is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. Um, are the straps in it? No. I don't know where the straps are. But I use the Pochette Matisse strap on this just because... Uh, I like to wear it crossbody. I don't really wear it as a backpack, but I fell for the hype, guys. I fell for the hype when this backpack came out and I purchased it and I, I don't use it. Like I haven't used it in over a year. I don't, it's not that I don't like it. It's just I tend to go for other bags. I think this style of a mini backpack is very, very trendy. And I don't think I would ever buy another very trendy item that's this pricey. I also noticed that the coloring on Louis Vuitton canvas can differ. Because I'm looking at my Trouse or my Truce. My Eva Clutch and my um, Noe bag over there and my Neverfull. And this is looking more green. And I'm not sure why, but I do know there are differences in the monogram color and even the Damier of being print sometimes. But all in all, I just, I wouldn't repurchase this bag because I think it was a lot for something to be so trendy. I mean, many backpacks are not really in anymore. I would say they were more in last year and the year before. I mean, many bags are still in but not so much a mini backpack and I just would never spend this much on a mini backpack again um it's cute I'm still gonna wear it but I don't reach for it as much as I thought I would years down the line so definitely would not repurchase another very trendy designer bag yeah, that's why a lot of times when things are super trendy, I like waiting a couple of years before getting them because I want to see if they're going to hold their value or if I even need it. <laughs> okay, the next thing is an item that I really love, but I'm not going to repurchase it. And this is my Louis Vuitton Logomania scarf. It is going to appear backwards on camera, but yeah. Now, this scarf is beautiful. It's a head turner, which kind of is good and bad because when I got it and I would wear it to work, people were just like, oh my God, she has a Louis Vuitton scarf. And it's like, I like what I like, okay? I got this from eBay. I got it. It was brand new, but this is a discontinued color. And I will um, leave the color in an annotation. I believe it's like violet. But I remember seeing this on a beautiful lady on Instagram one day and I fell in love with it. It's a wool scarf. It's super, super thick and cozy, but it's wool. So it does get the fuzzies. You probably really can't see it on camera. But after a while, that just really bothers me. I'm OCD and so... Sometimes I obsess over the smallest details and the fuzziness of this scarf really bothers me. So for that reason alone, I don't think I would get another Louis Vuitton Logomania scarf. I would get another luxury designer wool scarf, but I've heard like the Burberry wool scarves do not wear like this. Like even now there's little wool things flying through the room <laughs> but I do love this scarf and it is beautiful and you will see me wearing it this fall and winter but I just think for how much I paid and I think I paid like 350 or 375 but I think it retails for like 415 it's a lot of money for something that you would potentially have to take a tool and kind of defuzz and just the whole fuzziness aspect it just bothers me. I have other Louis Vuitton scarves that I like more that still have their flaws, but definitely because of my OCD, like I will never repurchase another one of these, though I love it. First is my Louis Vuitton 
if y'all can't tell, I love Louis Vuitton. <laughs> That's my favorite brand. This is the Louis Vuitton Damier Abine Speedy B or Speedy Bandolier 35. Now, I love this bag. The Speedy B was the bag that I have always wanted. The Speedy is one of the most iconic bags. I remember I first looked for an original Speedy without the bandolier straps um, when I was in college. And that's when they were probably about seven or eight hundred dollars. I just love this bag. I think it looks so chic wearing it in the fall time over the crook of your arm. Like, oh my gosh, now it's making me want to wear it. But let me tell you why I will never repurchase a bandolier Speedy. And I find that this is with all the bandolier Speedies, no matter if they are monogram, damier, a bean. I don't know if they make this in Azure. They may, I'm not sure. The hardware is different colors. And I've seen a couple of videos by, I think, Minx for All and maybe someone else where they have noticed this as well. So the hardware on the strap is very like golden. And right here on the zipper pull, you see how dull it looks? Like, I know you can see that right there. Like that's yellow toned or gold toned. And this just looks like faded and tarnished. And I think in Minnie's video or somebody's video, they asked someone from Louis Vuitton and they said it had to do with the quality of the metal used because of the placement. And I just think that's a bunch of bull. I don't really believe that. And I told you guys I'm OCD and little things tend to bother me. It just really bothers me that there are two different color metals on a bag. <laughs> Now granted, I could always take the strap off, which I might do because now I really want to carry this bag. I could always take the strap off and just carry it like this. But I don't think I'm going to buy another Speedy B. And the whole reason why you buy the Speedy B and why it's like 50% or more is because it has the leather handles or the leather strap. So I would never buy another Louis Vuitton Speedy B because I just don't like the mix of metals. I think I'd rather mix metals in terms of like earrings and bracelets and necklaces, but not on a bag. I just feel like if it's one piece, it should be one color of metal. But maybe that's just me, but I will never repurchase another Louis Vuitton Speedy B. Okay, and the last bag is a, not a holy grail, it's an OG bag and it's a classic bag. And it is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Neverfull GM, which is huge. Um, I love this bag. This is the bag that I carried in college. I carry my books in it. It's been with me on tons of trips. I travel with it all the time. I love it. But it's just so, 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 so oversaturated on the market. Um, I, do I think it's a great travel bag? Absolutely. But I don't love it enough to want to get it in like a limited edition special print. I don't love it enough to want to get it in another print as in Damier Abine. Um, once I actually wanted it in the MM size, but they're just so oversaturated and they're so popular. <sighs> I don't know. Would I buy this again? No. I think that now they are way too expensive for what it is. When I got this Neverfull GM, I believe it was, I got it in 2008, I believe. It was like, it was under a thousand dollars, I believe. And now it's like 14, 1500, which is a lot for just a big open tote. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't repurchase a Neverfull. I'm into other tote bags. I think they're great to travel with, but I just would steer clear of Louis Vuitton just because it's, it's so popular. But I do love that bag, but I don't love it enough to carry it day to day. I use it strictly for traveling just because it's lightweight and you can fit so much in it. So. Those are all the items that I've bought that I would not repurchase. Let me know down below what are some of the items that you either have in your collection or you've gotten rid of that you wouldn't repurchase. I just think it's so interesting finding out like why people don't like certain bags or shoes or accessories because we more often hear why they love them. So I'm going to stop talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.